What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news that I want to discuss concerning Tyson Fury and Francis Ngono. You guys know, and you mentioned to me yesterday in my live stream about the price points and the pay-per-view amount to buy the fight. And you guys, once again, have it so fucking good over there. I swear to you, you guys are paying twenty-one ninety-five, okay, in the UK. We are fucking paying. $79.99. We're paying $84. Because it's about $84, $85 after taxes to see Fran to see Francis Ngono experiment fighting one of the best fucking boxers in the heavyweight division. You know what I mean? I don't think it's worth that. If anything, I don't think they've learned much. But this is an ESPN venture. Um I don't think I don't think it should be that expensive, but of course, that's what happens when you implement the spirit of greed. That's what happens each and every time, and this is what this is. Let's jack the price up because we don't know how many people are going to buy the fight. If it's not a lot of people that buy the fight, you're still going to make your profit by jacking up the fucking price. If it does well, that would really be impressive, but then why would it do? The here's the thing. The performance itself, would it warrant a rematch? And I think if Francis Ngono is that or good enough to give him a good fight or a decent fight, Tyson Fury may uh, reward him a rematch. You know, but to sit there and watch it for $80, it's not worth it to me. I'm sorry. Again, I'll watch it because I won't. I'll probably be at a bar or something, but I'm not buying that fight, bro, because I won't be here anyway. And um, Kenny Sport is supposed to have been with me, but he's going to Jamaica. And uh, so I have to take it, you know, solo. So, um, but anyway, I mean, like the $80, this is just unacceptable. And I think if they're going to make it, if boxing is going to make it, they should at least lower the pay-per-view price. You know what I mean? Just lower it, lower it and um, and accept what it is. Speaking of guys like Dana White, Dana White got it right bars, because he gave the fans fights they wanted to see instead of the fighter finding a way to get out of that particular fight. And then the sanctioning bodies are a joke because they don't make anybody do anything for any reason. The sanctioning bodies almost run like the fucking Ku Klux Klan. You know what I mean? Like some type of underground convention that you have to pay to be a part of and if you're any kind of champion you're going to have to pay anyway but then i don't see those guys actually helping the progression of boxing by charging these guys or these fighters sanctioning fees for them fucking belts that they hold you know so nonetheless um i think you guys in the uk have a great deal for us it sucks now, will it be entertaining? Hell, if I know, I have to watch it first. <laughs> will Francis and Gono be up to the task? I don't know. We'll see. But nonetheless, nonetheless, um, I think that's a bit too high. I think they should have done a smarter job with at least having it 60 bucks, 59.99. That would have been that would have made more sense to me. Based on what they're doing, 80 bucks for that. You know, crossover fight. I kind of get it, but who says everybody else will? You know, people might not even want to watch that shit. Hopefully, the UFC fans do spew over and give and show boxing some love since Tyson Fury decided to fight a heavyweight or a former heavyweight champion of the world in the UFC platform. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of this goings on. <laughs> Right? Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace!